Hello everyone, my name is Sam and I am a Vision Tech student at Smoky Valley High School and this is my four week project how to video. Um, I did infographics and some code. Um, first my learning goals was I wanted to understand the basics of the C language and to understand the purpose behind infographics and how to create them. I used three main apps um, and a browser, but you know, everyone knows how to use a browser. Um, I use Xcode, Photoshop, and Illustrator. Um, Xcode, it works well, and it's a great application for writing code in my situation because there's a lot of restrictions with the administrator password, so I can't run um, programs, but I can write them. And I have two snippets of code here that I wrote. Um, well, the first one in the top left is an if while statement, or an if statement and a while statement. I guess both, whatever. And then the bottom right is an if statement. Uh, just two examples. <clears throat> Things I covered in C, um, here's just a list of stuff from basic syntax to file I.O. and more. I ran out of room. Um, with Photoshop and Illustrator, uh, Illustrator, I would never really used it too much. I haven't for at least two years, um, but it turned out to be a very, very friendly version of Photoshop. It's kind of like you took pages by Apple and combined it with Photoshop, and it's just wonderful. And as you can see, it's much, much easier. Um, infographics are a great, great way to make a statement. It's almost like tricking people into reading because it's pretty and fun to look at and you want to know what the pictures are about so you read it. It's a trick. And there are many different kinds. It's not as easy as it seems. Um, here I've opened an illustrator, my infographic, which was one of the, one of the kinds where you uh, you follow a path based on yes-no statements and mine tells you what operating system to buy into for a mobile phone. Um, I started out in Photoshop and I quickly turned into it quickly turned into far too many layers so I'll just zoom in here for a minute and just right here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 21 layers just right here in this small area and as I zoom back out, you can tell that was a very small area. So I had many, many, many layers. And um, moving each layer, whether I, I wanted to move something around, I had to go and search through my layers um, to find it, and then I could resize it, do whatever, and then I had to go back to my different layer. Same with copy-pasting. I couldn't just Apple C, Apple V. I had to um, control-click, duplicate layer, name the layer, and then hit OK, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're making this many layers, it really is. Um, so I just on a hunch I thought I'm, I'm desperate I'm just going to try something different so I tried Illustrator and it's fantastic because watch this I can just grab it and I can just move it and I'm not selecting this layer I can just grab it and I can just move it and it's awesome um, so yeah this is, this is how I made it I made did the cutouts of the phones in Photoshop um, I did a couple other cutouts so I'll open up my final project here Um, as you can see, I added in a couple of pictures to make it just look funner, to, or more fun to look at. Funner isn't a word, I apologize. I'll open it up here in preview. Um, I spent about a week making it. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was interesting. I'm glad I, I'm glad I did it because I learned how to use a new application. And yeah, that is my four-week project. Thank you.